you might you all might have heard about a saying you know like precaution is always better than cure isn't it the precaution is better than cure what does it mean children see uh, one thing is for sure that we cannot stop earthquake we cannot stop it isn't it it is going to come whenever it has to isn't it but if we prepare ourselves if we prepare ourselves so that the you know, we can minimize the uh, effects of earthquake so that we can minimize the uh, you know disasters we can minimize the destruction it will be good enough for us isn't it so see there are many things uh, which can be done before the earthquake comes that means in normal in journal case isn't it like what does what do i mean by saying this in journal case that means those areas which are prone to earthquake those areas where the earthquake comes very you know it's very it is very common it's it comes very often in those areas something has to be changed to change the destruction level to minimize it isn't it so what can be done children see the destruction takes place because of the two major reasons first is when the building falls people die because of that isn't it because taller the building greater the loss of lives hmm so second thing you know the second second disaster can be due to the damages of the dam walls so again that should be said something has to be done regarding this then the fire uh the buildings even the buildings catches fire why does the building catch fire because of the gases which get leaked or because of what so what can be see there are several problems but then we need to find out the solutions nowadays the science has developed a lot isn't it uh many programs are there you know very often it is shown on the discovery how to prevent from the earth, like prevent the houses the buildings from the earthquake you know nowadays the scientists they make they frame the buildings in uh, certain different uh, form you know which uh, for which the you know fireproof materials are used for the buildings so that it doesn't catches fire then uh, the you know the safety measures taken are really great like say for example this is a building so in spite of you know taking the uh, support on a mud or something like that the shock absorb absorbers are used over here the shock absorbers are used over here you know the building will even move from its place but again it will be settled at its own place okay so they they create they they develop such kind of space over here that you know when uh, the earth tram when the bit due to the tremor due to the vibration of the earth due to the tremor uh, this the the this building will move but still it won't fall it won't fall isn't it so shock absorbers are there so, you know some here like you know some steel uh, frames are used which covers the total building and do not allow the building to fall these steel frames give support to the buildings even the windows are supported by the steel frames in such a way that even the glass doesn't falls down yeah and the material which is used for the buildings are totally fire uh, like you know fireproof that means it doesn't catches fire certain area is being made over here in the building which it that in case of emergency uh, everybody can gather over there exit uh, emergency exits are may, being made you know so that the person do not get collapsed over there only so uh, again you know some uh, weight uh, you know some uh, like uh, computer due, with the help of the computer some weight management is also done uh, like you know so that the uh, weight doesn't like it can be managed and many such kind of things are done and used nowadays so why not uh, to go for this kind of things to prevent us to prevent our lives isn't it because nothing is more precious than our life if we are there everything is there isn't it so before uh you know some measures can be taken now these are not the thing which can be done in one day 
okay like we uh, or the it cannot be done when the earthquake occurred so these are the preparatory measures which has to be done uh, you know quite uh, before it 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 has to be done why to prevent ourselves from the tremor to prevent ourselves from the effect of the earthquake to prevent ourselves from the destruction disasters so all these things has to be done isn't it so we'll just right now what we are discussing we are discussing preparing for earthquakes okay so children we are discussing about the preparing of earthquake that means what can be done to reduce the effects of earthquake because just now as i told we cannot protect we cannot stop earthquake but we can do something which can reduce its effect which can reduce our destruction which can reduce the disasters okay so the effects of the disasters can be reduced now so what can be done to reduce the effect of earthquake what preparations can be done first of all buildings why i'm focusing again again on building why am i talking only much about building children because building is the one reason which uh, is responsible the fall of building is responsible for the you know uh, for the death of many people isn't it as the building collapses many people die and that has to be changed so what changes can be brought so first of all in the hilly areas or in the earthquake prone areas the buildings shouldn't be very tall or big isn't it so in the earthquake prone areas or hilly areas the construction of big buildings b u i okay buildings should be totally avoided okay why i am telling this student because this is the major reason for the death of the people death of the like it takes many lives yes so that should this should be avoided taller the bending greater the losses so the buildings should not be tall buildings should not be uh, uh, you know permitted government should not permit uh, the maps should not be permitted for making of big buildings isn't it okay so this is the first point then what has to be done children how the buildings has to be done that we'll talk about so in the hilly areas or the earthquake prone areas in hilly areas the mat light material or material like okay which material has to be used children wood or i can write timber okay then thatched material or even i can write lighter material please remember children few uh, many a times i do not write a complete sentence okay so whenever you have to write the sentence please frame your own sentence i sometimes many a times i write the gist of even in the sentences isn't it so like this one in hilly hilly area some material like what so wood timber thatched even lighter so please frame it according to you okay 
I write proper, but many a times I write the just in the sentences also. So please frame your own sentence. So in hilly areas, some material. Which kind of material has to be used in the hilly areas, children? Okay, whatever is used, but you know, concrete should be avoided. Okay, concrete, concrete materials should be avoided. Should be avoided. Okay, children. So, and even roofs should be very light. Roofs should be light. Now, see why the roofs should be light, children. See the building falls. That means roof falls, and if the roof is heavy, you can imagine the effect of that. So, if the roof is light, it's like it will be quite, you know, more chances will be there for a person to be alive. So, that is the reason the, loo, the roof should be made up of the lighter material as much as it can be, okay. Uh, keeping in mind the other important things that it should not uh, blow off in the uh, air and winds and storms and all these points. So, but still concrete should be avoided, the uh, roofs can be made of some lighter material so that even if it falls, it does not take the life of the person, okay. Now, then the hilly areas, in the hilly areas, the concrete material should be totally avoided, is not it? What should be avoided children? The concrete materials should be totally avoided because concrete, see two things are there. Concrete is first of all very heavy. If it falls, it hurts. Uh, it can even take the life, is not it? First is this and second thing, it is very costly also. So, both the things can be prevented if concrete, if the concrete material is not used, what the lives can be saved and at the same time the property, the money, the financially also one can be, uh, one can uh, like you no know, financially can also be strong by not using money in this kind of buildings, okay. So, in hilly areas the material like wood should be used, then thatched material should be used, that means even the mud, the cow dung, you know the houses which used to have in the olden days can be made in that way okay so these are the two points now we'll move to the next point so what is our next point children let me clean this building okay so now i'll use some other color now totally i have written with the white so i'll use yellow now okay so fire Proof materials can be used for the fire. I have, this is not the children, this is fire, okay. So, fire proof material can be used in buildings. which can prevent any major destruction, okay. So, now if the fireproof material is used, it is going to be beneficial, like I am talking the place of where the buildings are made, okay, see this. Uh, Thatch material, wood, this is going to be uh, really it is going to catch feathers like it is going to be. But now I am talking about the buildings, okay. I am talking about the buildings which are there in the uh, region which is really prone to earthquakes, okay. This is I am talking this point is related to buildings, which kind of buildings? The buildings which are made in the earthquake prone areas. So, how it should be children? First of all, the fireproof materials should be used. So, it can give dwell uh, safety, you know, it will give it safety uh, to uh, when the earthquake occurs and in day to day life also it will be not, it won't be a strong point children that the building is fireproof, it is so good that it is going to prevent from any kind of other destruction, is not it? So, this one 
like fireproof material has to be used now buildings should be made more scientifically to prevent its fall during earthquake okay so what the i'm talking about the buildings which are made in the earthquake prone regions okay so which kind of buildings should be made children a building which is made by a fireproof material and all the scientific rules should be followed religiously children it has to be followed to save the lives isn't it so what are those like shock absorbers are there like you know, steel frames are there like something is there which can manage with the moving of the uh, buildings isn't it so that the building can remain as strong uh, it can remain as one single unit it shouldn't be broken into two three units isn't it that is the main point that the building should stay stand the building should stand as one single unit even during the earthquake it should not fall okay and it is going to be definitely it is going to be in one unit it will be if it is religiously made scientifically what's the meaning of religiously made scientifically children it doesn't means that religion i'm not talking about any religion that means the rules has to be followed very honestly okay which kind of rules that means all scientific rules whatever is possible has to be done so that the building can be protected and many lives can be saved the property can be saved hard earned money of people can be saved okay so what else which can be done children so what else can be done children cupboards and shelves should be made inside the walls which will <clears throat> which will prevent its fall okay now see cupboards and uh, shelves whatever is there at home inside the home okay so it should if it is you know kept separately if it is kept here so obviously it is going to fall if it is there inside the wall if the wall get damaged it is going to go down only isn't it so or whatever the wall and that it will be more saved and protected so the cupboards and shelves should be inside the walls it should not be used you know uh, like it should not be present separately so this is again very very important point now certain more points like in earthquake prone areas heavy hangings should be avoided okay now so <clears throat> a region which is a house which is there in the earthquake prone area you know hangings very heavy heavy you might have seen in the hindi movies especially the big jhumas are there i know then someone the villain they cut the jhumas and they it, the jhumar is about to fall and the hero comes and he you know he does something to you know he prevents the jhumar either from falling or he prevents the person who is about to be there uh, below the jhumas so all these fancy fancy jhumas or hangings shouldn't be there inside the houses which are really prone in the areas which are there 
what which kind of area which are prone to earthquake so all such kind of uh, uh, hangings should be avoided okay so this is very very important that all should be avoided okay now always good engineers or good architects and experienced engineers I am not having place to write and I cannot write in this way. So, good architects and experienced engineers should, I am not able to write now, I am not able to complete the sentence. So, so what I wanted to say children that good architects and good engineers should be hired to make good and strong house in the earthquake prone areas so that prone area so that one can prevent the house itself uh, and the like like you know the whole family the the people can be saved children in this way isn't it so <coughs> now we'll talk about what we are talking about children we are talking about what preparing for earthquake that means what has to be done or like prior like what are the preparation what can save us from the effects of the earthquake what can save us from the tremors isn't it what are the things so it is totally about the structures one more very special point i was supposed to write now see this this point is certain half okay there is no place to write the dams i was talking about the dams there is no place dams has to be checked and should be made by modern there again there is no place modern techniques <coughs> okay so when we talk about dams see um, whatever destruction okay whatever we discussed before this what are the things which can uh, happen so uh, i told buildings fall due to which the people die so uh, here we are talking about the way in which the buildings cannot fall even if it falls then it won't be so disastrous because we have planned about the two things in the hilly areas the buildings won't be uh, made by the uh, what concrete and all these things and it will be of you know thatched and wood and timber and all this kind of things so even if it is falling it won't be life taking a thing isn't it roofs are very very light so that one can be alive okay now when we talk about the tall buildings then if the buildings has to be made it has to be made totally scientifically isn't it so the shock absorbers should be there the frames which can prevent the building should be there the exit uh, emergency exit should be there even you know the fire extinguishers and the appliances which can extinguish the fire uh, in the building should be there and should be there in a the working condition this is very very important point children that the things are there you know children the things are there but the biggest question is the things are not there in the working conditions isn't it so the things has to be there and it has to be there in the working condition so what we are talking about in the earthquake prone areas or hilly areas the construction of big buildings should be totally avoided this will be like one uh, good step to prevent the lives then in hilly areas some material like wood tim like wood and timber it is one same thing uh? timber thatched even lighter material that means the, li the thing is that that the lighter materials should be used isn't it now if the the proof the fire it is fire okay so fire proof material can be used in buildings which can prevent any major accidents or destruction now buildings should be made more scientifically to prevent its fall during earthquake more scientifically means whatever i am telling you that all things has to be there now cupboards and shelves should be made inside the walls isn't it the cupboards and the shelves should be inside the where inside the walls and shouldn't be outside 
again it is going to prevent the fall of all this thing and will be preventing definitely many lives. Now in earthquake prone areas heavy hangings should be avoided as just now we have discussed and especially you know children in the movie where the bhoot, bhoots are there I love these kind of movies. So if the bhoot is there in the movie the jhumar has to fall isn't it just watch bhoot movies and you will find that if the bhoot is there then jhumar has to fall especially in Hindi movies. So do not uh, <laughs> this jhumars should not be there or any kind of heavy hangings should not be there ok. Now, uh, okay, now good architects and experienced engineers need to be hired is not it, uh, it is not the, it is not easy to frame such kind of buildings ok. So, for making this experienced people are required the uh, honest you know the one who knows their work are required. So, this kind of people need to be hired ok. Now, what is the next one the dams, the dams this one is very important children again the dams the build the no, the walls should be made uh, like you know without any kind of cheating you know and should be very strong again it should be made scientifically new measures should be used new things new um, you know uh, something more developed should be used which can prevent the walls from being broken and being getting cracked. And you know it has to be checked also children, one it is made and it is it cannot be left is not it. So, these has to be checked. So, these all points are there for preparing for earthquake like what can be done to prepare uh, uh, like you know uh, uh, like beforehand what has to be done and definitely children if this will be done many lives will be saved definitely. But you know what is the problem children our country is not so rich is not it like uh, the, we have many poor people in our country the difference between the rich and poor is very high. So, everybody cannot afford all these kind of things is not it and so there has to be there in the normal houses normal because the population is really very high. When the population is high, the living standards are low, living standards are low, the financial status is not good and so the people are forced to live in ordinary or you know the even though when they know that this is dangerous you know I have seen many buildings which has got many big cracks which is declared by the government that this is a dangerous uh, building it can fall at any time but still the people they do not want to vacant the rooms they do not want to vacant the buildings the thing is that where they will go they do not have any place to go. So, that is the thing children uh, even the uh, financial condition of people of the country is very very uh, important if it is good. Uh, who wants to be you know who nobody wants to kill themselves. So, definitely they are going to make such kind of things they will bring such kind of changes, but for that even so back to the topic. So, these are the things by doing uh, by applying all these kind of things the um, houses can be um, more strong it can be more preventive is not it. So, please note all these points now we will go we will move to the next topic and that is what has to be done when it occurs what has to be done when earthquake occurs these are the points which has to be followed long like you know normally in normal course for making houses and all this thing. Now, we will talk about what has to be done when it occurs ok. So, and one more point I can write over here you know the people should be uh, made aware of the people should be educated uh, where to write ok there is no place, but just I will tell you the people need to be you know the one who knows this ok should spread awareness in the region the, the earthquake prone regions that these are the things this has to be done is not it. So, by spreading awareness by educating people uh, not only this, but other measures also like what has to be done in the case of emergency in the earthquakes in the what are the precautions what has to be followed if injury happens what has to be done. So, what all is there it has to be uh, you know told it has to be explained to other people is not it. 
So please note this and then we will move to the next topic.